Introducing the Desky Dual Mini Sit Stand Desk. It's the perfect choice for those who want to stay active and healthy whilst working. With a full range of heights, a dual motor lifting system, and a Desky solid frame design, this desk offers market leading stability, lifting speeds, and a huge 140 kilogram lifting capacity. Choose from either black or white melamine desktops and transform your workplace with the best in class solution for a healthier and more productive workday. And it is real easy to assemble and quick. So let's jump in and see how simple that is. Now all the tools you need are included in the box. And we're gonna leave this large desktop size box unopened for now and open all the other boxes and lay the items out on a protected area like a carpet or rug to avoid any items from being scratched. Make sure you account for all of the pieces out of the box prior to throwing away any of the packaging. Now, you can find a full list of the parts and steps inside the included instruction manual. Once you've checked it all over, you're now ready to begin assembling the desky. Begin by disconnecting the two crossbar ends, and we do this by untightening the eight grub screws. The crossbar rails are located inside the crossbar ends. We want to remove these, though set them aside for later in the assembly. Next, in connecting a leg to the crossbar end, we want to ensure that the grub screws we just loosened on the crossbar end are facing down the leg. Then insert the leg so that the four holes in the leg line up with the four holes on the crossbar end. Next, insert four machine screws and use the hex key to screw these in a few turns, but do not completely tighten them yet. Repeat this step for the second leg too. From here, Attaching a side bracket is done much easier by setting the leg up on an angle. Position a side bracket against the back of the crossbar end so that the four holes in the side bracket line up with the holes on the crossbar end. Insert machine screws and use the large hex key to secure this in place. Start with the two outside screws first by tightening these before then tightening the two inner screws. Then you can repeat this step for the second leg too. And once this is done, you can then go over and tighten all the screws from the previous steps, which attaches the side brackets to the leg. From here, standing the legs upside down, place a foot on top of each leg so that the four holes line up with each other. Insert four machine screws and use the large hex key to secure them in lightly. Ensure that all four screws are in place before tightening them down and then repeat this step for both of the feet. You'll find round leveling pads are fitted to each foot and this is to assist with leveling the desk on an uneven surface. Now position the two leg assemblies across from one another. And with the two crossbar rails we removed originally from the crossbar ends, we can use these again to connect that frame assembly together. Ensure that the crossbar rails are orientated so that the rail cutouts face inwards as shown. Then slide the assembly together and set aside whilst we unbox the desktop. Place your desktop upside down on a non-abrasive surface like a carpet or rug and place the frame gently on top. Adjust the width of the frame by pulling the two halves apart to line up the pre-drilled holes on the frame with those on the desktop. Your desk will either have pre-drilled holes or threaded screw inserts depending on the size of the desktop purchased and you'll find several screws attaching the frame to the desktop, some at each end, as well as two screws that secure the frame in the middle. Next, use the hex key to re-tighten each of the grub screws on the crossbar ends, and this will secure these crossbar rails in place within the desky frame. It's now time to mount the control box to the center of the desk with pre-drilled holes found just behind the center rails. Use the two large hex keys and the hex key provided to secure the control box in place. From here, connect the leg cables to the control box. You'll find further extension leads for leg cables available in the scenario where the original cables don't reach, say if you've purchased a larger desktop. Now, if you've purchased our mini cable tray with your mini desky, now is a great time to attach it. 
There are threaded inserts on the Deskey and you can attach it any which way you desire. If your desk does not have threaded inserts, use the provided self-tapping wood screws and align the tray to your liking and simply screw it in using an electric drill. This is a great addition to your mini Deskey where you can have access to a full array of PowerPoints found directly under your Deskey with only one cord reaching down to the floor. From here, we can go ahead and attach the control panel to the Deskey before flipping it over upright. You'll find pre-drilled holes available on the front side just under the edge for left or right installation of the control panel. Line up the pre-drilled holes in the desktop with those of the controller and use two wood screws to secure the controller in place. Leave it slightly loose now and then you can get it perfectly lined up with the edge of the desktop once the Deskey has been placed upright. And once the controller is installed, you can plug this straight into the control box. There will be noticeable cord left hanging down from this cable, though with one or two well-positioned adhesive-backed cable clips that are included in the box, you can easily keep any hanging cords up and away. Now, before flipping the Deskey, just triple check that all the screws from previous steps are tightened. So to flip the desk upright, rotate it onto the side opposite that of the control panel to avoid any damage to this. Once in position, rotate it once more so it's able to stand up onto its feet and by all means grab a friend to help you as it will make the task easier and avoid any injuries. And congratulations, we're now only a few steps away from completing assembly. So attach the power cable to the back of the control box and you can feed the power cable through the mini tray if you have one with your Deskey. Plug the Deskey into power for the first time and turn it on and we will now need to initiate the Deskey's heights. Press and hold the down button on the controller until your Deskey reaches its lowest position. Press and hold the down button again until the display reads RST, which is reset. Then press it once more and the Deskey will bop up and down for a second, display the current height, and now be ready to use. Go ahead and reposition and tighten the screws on the controller so it is flush with the edge of the desktop and once done, you are now fully completed the assembly and are ready to begin using your new Desky Mini Sit Stand Desk. Thanks for watching our assembly video of the Desky Dual Mini Sit Stand Desk and we hope you found this video very helpful in guiding you through the assembly process. And now that you're ready to enjoy the benefits of this high quality desk, with its ergonomic design, that sturdy frame, and the smooth motorized lifting system, it's the perfect addition to any home or office space. Head over to the links above or below to view more of our Desky range. Thanks again for choosing Desky.